job now. All right. I think we're live. We'll have to see about that. So we got Joey Hookham, Packer fan. And Tristan just placed an order recently from me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome in, guys. This is Ken, Bluegrass Bearded. We have Corey from Weatherbeard here. So far in the chat, we got Joey. What's going on, Joey? Packer fan, Joshua Ricks. Tristan Raymond, what's going on, buddy? Good friend of mine from here locally. Weather B, Miss Hannah. Yeah, she says rain or shine. It's Weatherbeard time. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> There's George. Tevin, what's going on? Matt, the sports beard. How you guys doing? Man, I am pumped for this video. Tristan nice. says he's pumped. I'm, I'm trying to get pumped, man. Pumping myself up with some coffee here. Awesome. So for uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ken. This is Bluegrass Bearded. And with me here is Corey from Weatherbeard Supply. Beard give people a few here. minutes to... Uh, give people a few minutes to come in here yeah i don't i don't have like a count because i'm on my phone of how many people are here but i can see that there's actually a pretty good variety of people here we, I, george follows me everywhere i go that guy he's he's always there and so is hook him so there's tevin love it tevin just got my package from weatherbeard today yeah that's right that's mr stash right dollar 45 is mr stash he got that rustic retreat sandalwood bourbon uh, balm and whip. Nice. Okay. Brent is in the house. Awesome. Yeah, that, that would be Brent. Uh, he ordered from you also. Another buddy of mine local here. Very cool. Tevin is pumped up on Jesus. Yeah, that's, I love the, it. that's the real way to be pumped up right there, brother. Beard code. I see you there. I missed you a second ago. Sorry, brother. We got oh, Tyson's in the house. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. And I believe that I saw Tyson. There's Tyson. And I saw Mrs. Bluegrass, my favorite person in the whole world. Yeah. All right. Let's go, guys. We're going to go live awesome. here. Awesome. All right, welcome back, guys. So most of you guys know Corey already. Um, Corey, Weatherbeard Supply Company. I met Corey a couple of months ago. He was doing a live stream on Instagram, walking around his neighborhood. Those of you that have known Corey since then, since this uh, uh, this quarantine thing started, that's when Corey kind of started hitting the community here. Um, you know that Corey goes for walks every single day. And uh, yeah, that's what he does. So uh, great guy, great company. I do have some products here. Really excited. I've got some products that I have not even opened yet. So we're going to dig into those. Yeah, hooked him up there. I'm ready for him to open all that up too myself. I can't wait to wear it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be awesome. All right. So we'll get into it here. So uh, we're going to start with just a Q&A, let you guys get to know Corey a little bit. Uh, we'll throw some um, information down here. He does have a special discount code for you guys for this uh, stream. So I'll throw it up here. Yes, sir. Right down there. And Corey, how long is this uh, code good for? It will be good until Sunday night at midnight. So for you guys that are out there that may have not got paid yet this week and budget's kind of tight, completely understandable, uh, we're going to run it through the weekend. So you guys have plenty of time to check that out. Got my clicker. <laughs> nice. We'll get into that later. What's going on, Flying Beardsman? I'll be. Uh, you guys follow Flying Beardsman. Also, he'll be live at nine o'clock right after this. So, so go check him out. Very nice. All right. So Q and A here. So, um, like I said, Corey, I met um, a couple of months ago, and um, great products. I've tried them. So, Corey, tell us about your company, the history, how you got started, any of that. Oh. All right. Well, uh, in November, no shave November, actually, of 2015, 
Uh, this was a time that my wife and I had been into collecting some essential oils, buying, reselling for kind of one of those multi-level marketing companies. And that's actually at the point that I realized I really have a gift for sales. I had never really gone into anything like that, but I thought it was cool that I could use my hobby, sell products and gain a little commission off of it to reinvest in my hobby. So before I even knew anything about running a business, I was getting my feet wet there. Uh, but with that, came a ton of collecting essential oils. I mean, we had all of them from the woodsies to the citrus to the mint and every variety and stuff that I couldn't even really put into its own classification. Things right. like Ar Arbor Vitae. You're like, what is that? I don't know. It smells like Arbor Vitae, right? It's different. <laughs> Some different stuff. So around this time, No Shave November had come around and I was 25 years old, 2015. And I was like, I've never actually grown a beard. And at this point, as you guys can see, my hair was thinning out just a little bit. And I was like, you know, I'm going to try to grow a beard. I'm going to stick with this No Shave November thing. And I'm going to grow my beard into the new year. You know, so I was looking around. I'm like, I got a ton of these essential oils. Like, what is a good way that you could use something like this uh, for products for men? Because I realized that the essential oil market was just really saturated with women's products. Lots of household cleaners. You can use them in diffusers. You can use them in your washing machine, your dryer, whatever you're doing. But I wanted to know if there was things that you could make for men because I had a really fun time with just blending the essential oils and diffusing them into the air of my home. Right. Uh, so Weatherbeard was born. Um, I started to uh, I looked up on Google, like, what are some things you can use essential oils for men? And beard oil was one of the top things in this list of things that you could make. Right? Like, what is that for? What's it do? So I was literally just learning the ropes. I went to my local health food store and I purchased some essential oils along with some uh, carrier oils. I had some jojoba, sweet almond. I had coconut. I had all kinds of different stuff that I was kind of playing around with. And I ended up making a couple scent blends of beard oil. I uh, started using it just during that early stage of beard growth, which everybody knows is super critical and you, you itch and you're just waiting for right. something to fill in. And uh, we kind of busted through that. My wife was enjoying the scent and what it was doing to soften up my beard hair. And uh, she actually had an Etsy shop at this time, which is just its own little handmade market. I'm sure a lot of people know about it. And she was like, you know, this is really cool. I think we should, I think we should probably like put a sticker on this thing, take some photos and try to sell it. You know, I think people would like this. Um, so we put it up on an Etsy shop and the Etsy shop started to sell a beard oil, like one or two a week. I was just like, Whoa, this is cool. Bald heads matter. I see that. <laughs> I, I like that he can drop those comments on his screen because I, I would have a hard time keeping up with the yeah, chat this you. whole time. You guys are you. awesome for just being hooked up on this. So with that being said, um, we started making sales and I was working at Honda at this time. And just the thought of making my own product and people buying it and then getting the feedback. Uh, dude, this is amazing. I love this scent blend. Like these essential oils are wonderful for my skin and my beard has never been so soft. And I was even getting comments. This was what blew my mind and made me really like, wow, maybe I'm on to something. I believe I had a gentleman through Etsy that left me a review and said, I've been trying beard products for about 10 years. And I've never had a beard oil that makes my beard feel this good. It just works for me. So I was like, man, my, my recipe that I have for my base here must be pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the one that I stuck with and, and the rest is history. I kept making more beard oils. I kept, uh, I learned about beard balms through Etsy. People wanted to get matching balms with their oils. And then I started making balms. Uh, people started wanting butters with no wax. So I found out what a beard butter was or a beard whip. And so you can just see there was a progression there that was taking place with the sales, with the reviews, the feedback people asking questions and I just continue to supply the demand. Hence Weatherbeard supply. So, yeah, very cool. So, um, at this point, so we're going to talk about scents here shortly, but yeah, your scents are great guys in the chat. While we're at this point, let us know what's in your beard right now. So in my beard, 
I am wearing Weather Beard Sierra Sunrise, which is a great scent, great citrus scent. I'm sure tomorrow I'll be wearing something else because I got these packages open here. So yeah. So, so yeah. So that I get the inspiration there. Um, uh, who came up with the name Weatherbeard? Funny story. Um, we, so we had a shop uh, on Etsy, and we did not know what to call it. Um, and so going back pre the the Etsy shop, I'm sitting there. We've got our photos. Uh, we've got some beard oil stickers. They didn't even have a name on them at this point. Um, it just said beard oil. <laughs> like it was so generic craft paper sticker. And I'm like, we got to brand this thing. You know, we have to, we got to think about this. And I'm just calling out all these cheesy names, you know, like a lot of the other companies that we see out there. And my wife's like, well, weather beard, like our last name is weather B. So why not? just make beard stuff out of our name and kind of work that in there. And I'm like, you know what? Forget it. That's cool enough for me. I like to brand my own self into my company. So a lot of people finding out about Weatherbeard have no idea that that's where the name comes from. Right. They're just like, oh, it's probably got to do with like weather and the seasons and being outside. You know, that's cool. Weatherbeard, that's just a cool name. But my name is actually Corey Weatherby. For those of you that did not know, that is my name. So we just worked that into the company because this is part of who we are at this point. So I thought that was pretty neat. And everybody that I told the story to as I grew my business pretty much thought the same thing. So I'm like, we're just going to stick with it. So Right. And with all the uh, with, so with all the conversation about, you know, who makes beard products, who drop ships, who does what, uh, do you make all your own beard products? I actually do. Like I said, um, from the very beginning, just experimenting with those oils. Um, I actually just looked up a DIY recipe uh, for myself of how many is how much essential oil is safe to put into one of these since I'm going to rub it on my face, you know. Right. Um, so I kind of found out I started doing research about ratios, uh, thick and thin oils, the benefits of all these oils, whether they were emollients or exfoliants or they were going to have uh, more fatty acids than others, be a thicker, thinner consistency and what the benefits were. Um but when I started getting questions about, you know, do you have a beard balm to match this beard oil? I had to look up what in the world is a beard balm? Like, cause right. I'm literally, I had no idea. Uh, so again, looking up DIY recipes of other people that were offering information on how to make your own beard balm. And of course they were making it like, okay, you can make one, two ounce, 10 out of this, like half a teaspoon of shea butter and, one quarter of wax, you know, and I'm like, man, that's sure is an awful little amount of this stuff for me to go out and buy like all this butter and wax, which right. is like 15, $20. And I'm like, okay, well I got to figure this out because my customers want it. Uh, so yeah, it, it just literally, I, I bought a couple of other Etsy sellers, beard balms just to test the texture and the scent duration, how strong it was to get an idea of what I wanted to go for. There was definitely a lot of trial and error there but I think we found something that works. So. Yeah. So we're going to get into this in just a minute, but, um, Oh, I already showed that one. Sorry. Oh, that is totally right okay. Here. We could actually, Oh yeah. yeah my wife so. says Tiki, don't make me start rapping again, guys. I would, I, I would love to just like stop answering the questions and just talk to you guys. Cause this is really cool that all of you guys are interacting. Yeah. This is um, awesome. But we're going to try to stay on par. I actually have a nice little outline here trying to keep the show flowing consistently, but you guys are going to like what we're about to do. Yeah, so That's my attempt at trying to look professional. <laughs> oh yeah. Ken's professionalism is unmatched. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so I think we have something to do here, huh? I think so. I've, I've heard a little birdie told me a little while ago earlier today while I was on my walk, I got two and a quarter miles in today, which by the way, I just hit the 98 mile mark for the month. So I've only got to get two more miles to hit that 100. But there was a bird that told me that something was awesome was going to go on tonight on the slide so stream. I've got to start being more inspired because I have exactly zero miles. I'm waiting on my gym to open back up. <laughs> That's me. all right. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I said, are you ready? All 
right, so giveaway oh, yeah. time. So Corey, um, he do, we do have a giveaway here. So this first giveaway is going to be just a random number. Um, we'll get into that. You can see the bottom. You guys know how this works. Um, first one that I see on my screen will win. Um, this is going to be a random number. Please only enter one time. And uh, Corey, what are we giving away here? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to allow the audience, whoever wins is actually going to get to pick any two products of their choice. Any two products of your choice, you can get two of the same. Have you guys contact me on Instagram, which I believe he's got the information flowing down here. Whenever you win, just contact me, uh, shoot me from my website what you'd like to try and your shipping information and we'll get that all hooked up. All righty, let me get to the chat here and make sure that I have this. All right, so so guys, what I need, I need a random number from 1 through 20. 1 through 20. Start to see them. We have the delay. We'll start to see the numbers pop through here. Yeah, I, I always get the delay on yeah. uh, StreamYard here. My last live stream I did at least, so. Starting Man. to get some here. All right, we got a winner. Uh-oh. Who do we got, guys? I'm excited to find out. I love a little competition. Three. Number was oh. three. All Brent. right, well, there you go. I think he knows how to get in touch with you. Yeah, man, we've been working something out. He found out he likes my classic cut blend, so I'm excited about that. So, Brent, down at the bottom, uh, there's Corey's Instagram. Um, just get in touch with him through Instagram there, and he will take care of you. Weatherbeard underscore supply. Awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool. All right. So, all right, cool. So, um, so you kind of know, you already know what Brent likes. You know what, you know what I like. What was your first scent you ever made? Oh boy. Um, the first scent that I ever made was tree beard. Now it was not called tree beard when I made it. It was just tea tree, lavender, sandalwood, pine, and cedar wood. It was like all the woodsy essential oils that I had. And I just dropped them all in there and kept sniffing until I found something I liked. And what I did is I actually brought all of these products to work with me because at, at the time, you know, I'm just, just a startup guy learning about this beard stuff myself as I'm making right. it. And um, I would bring these bottles of oil to work and I would literally just crack the cap, hand them to people like, what do you think about this scent, man? Would you wear this on your skin? And people, you know, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really, I don't like pine. I'm just kind of smells funny, like cedar or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm not much for the essential oil smells. You know, I'm more of a cologne guy. Right. And so I just had to take the good with the bad and be like, you know what? If there was 15 people that said yes and 25 people that said no, then that means that there's 15 people that said yes. You know, somebody is going to like this scent. <laughs> you know, I personally liked it. So uh, I ended up sticking with Treebeard. And it's kind of funny how that was named. Um, my buddy Ben from work, I remember, Ben Connup, uh, if he ever watches this stream, uh, right. I brought it up to him and I let him smell it. He's like, smells like a tree. And he said, dude, you, you, you ever watch Lord of the Rings? And I was like, oh, well, who hasn't, you know? <laughs> and he's like, you remember the int, like the walking tree? It's called tree beard. And I was like, man, I have no idea if I can even name it that. Like, I don't want to get in trouble with Tolkien or whatever. So, right. I ended up naming it that anyway. I was so small at the time. And I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to run into any issues with this. And to this day, I haven't. If I ever do, I can just quickly change the name. But Treebeard was the first scent. It was a safe play. Just right. go with a, a woodsy scent. You know, what guy typically is not going to go for the woodsy scent? Because in my mind, every guy that grew a big beard, wore flannel shirts, carried an axe on his back. They're all lumberjacks, you know, or hipsters. But everybody wanted yeah. to smell like, really woodsy so yeah and you find a lot of the woodsy scents and i like woodsy scents but since i've discovered more and more products more scents um i've got to where i enjoy others far more than woodsy scents so oh yeah yeah definitely it's just a safe play for for the guy that has never tried it before and he doesn't really know if he wants to smell like an orange or a peppermint <laughs> right. but there are blends with that stuff in it you know that definitely hit the nail on the head and it's really refreshing so 
So your other scents, how long did you have, I guess, how long did you go with that scent before you started releasing other scents and uh, how did you come up with those? I actually, I had four original fragrances because I wanted to do four different profiles. I wanted to have a woodsy, I wanted to have a citrus, and I wanted to have an earthy, and I wanted mm -hmm. to have a minty. And that's all the essential oils I had. So I was like patchouli gotcha. for earthy. I had orange and lemon and lime, and I had like peppermint, spearmint, wintergreen. Um, actually, I believe the first oil that I made with peppermint in it uh, was called Jolly Green. And I had actually mixed hemp seed oil. So it was like a green, really green colored oil. Um, and it had like spearmint, peppermint, vanilla, bergamot. So it's like a citrus vanilla mint that right. I had made. Um, and then one of my fragrances I used was vetiver, which if you guys have ever smelled vetiver, that was, that's definitely got a unique smell of its own. And I made a blend called Into the Wild. And it had peppermint orange and vetiver so i was trying to create like an earthy citrus mint and it's funny like in the beginning i was layering fragrances to make like these complex blends that i knew you couldn't just go find in a bottle somewhere right and as i grew i kind of simplified my scent profiles i still kept a couple of those layered ones in there and they seem to sell great at the stores um Smoke cherry wood is amazing. There you go. I, I like that he can drop that comment on there. Yeah. Smoke cherry wood was actually my first fragrance oil based scent. And what I did is I was actually, by the time I had these four blends, I had made them in an oil and a balm. And I had grown into a couple of barber shops around my local area. I had about four or five stores. Um, that's when I, I released my first fragrance oil. Right. And when I did smoked cherry wood along with those other blends that I was just describing, smoked cherry wood sold 10 to one. Like everybody's like, oh, these are OK, but that smells amazing, you know, and it lasts so long. And it's so great. And at this time, I was really holistically minded. I was like, maybe people, they, they're not going to want to get a fragrance oil based product. They're about all that all natural. And, you know, as long as your product is only two to three percent, you're safe, you know, and uh just learning that information for myself uh, and the benefits of fragrance oils over essential oils, just seeing the sales rate uh, kind of kept propelling me in that direction. So yeah, thank you, Don, for dropping that little comment in there. Yeah, yeah. And I had to throw I had to throw this on the screen right here. So I don't know if you saw I, I think is Tyson still in here? You know, Tyson is the master of this. So there's I want to get in on some of these eating competitions, but then I watch Tyson eat and I'm like, man, there's no way I don't know if I survive it. Um, so Carlisle Beard's here trying to get something going here. Chocolate orange eating contest. Oh, Did you wow. see Dan C put an Instagram video today around his studio and he has so much candy that uh <laughs> I don't know. He said he's he's not a mass eater, more of an appreciator. He appreciates a lot of candy in his studio. <laughs> I'm the weather man, but Dan's the candy man. I, I absolutely. There you go. So that was awesome. That was a great video too. I love seeing that studio, studio goals. Maybe what I'll do from here on out through the rest of the live stream is I'll maybe take one or two minutes to answer my question uh, and then just address some of the comments that people are dropping in the chat. Because I definitely I saw where Flying Beardsman said that Rustic Retreat was a super well-rounded scent. And Dan had said Earth in a Bottle, which actually my first earthy blend with that patchouli in it was right. called Down to Earth because um, it had a lot of calming oils. It had frankincense, vetiver, clary sage, and also the patchouli. So yeah. I, I just love reading these uh, comments. I, I want to maybe drop like a shorter version here within my five minute answering time frame. So you got to stop, stop to drinking coffee. Stop the coffee then. Hey, man, I, you, you know what? I take people's advice, but that's one piece of advice I'm not ever going to take. Unless a doctor like tells me and then I'll just have to pray about it. You know what I'm right. saying? So. Yeah, guys, and I appreciate it. Thanks for all the interaction here. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the comments also. Um I'm new at this, so I'm, I'm trying my best here. Um, I want to give I more appreciate time you guys and, and chat. I love it. So, that. I just said I want to give more time to that because there is yeah. such a good amount of interaction. I was not expecting the traction. Um, I prayed about it. So here they are. You know, they, they came. It. So we love, love it. it. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, so I've got something that you don't know about. You don't know what this is. So wanted to do a little speed round here. So just a handful of questions. On the spot, fun, 
you know, wish me luck. Wish me we luck, were, everybody. So I, I did tell you today because you know we were chatting and when I was driving, we were you know we were chatting on the phone, and I told you inadvertently you had answered one of these questions. So so you'll know. Oh, okay, and, yeah. <laughs> I said something about what I like to eat, and you're like, oh, you just answered one of my questions. Right. So I, I kind of have a little bit of an edge on that question. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's let's get down through this real quick. Me and Mrs. Bluegrass came up with these last night. So, all right. Let's so go. Here we go. Let's do all this. Right. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Awesome. Coffee or tea? Coffee. That's what I thought. Tea Hiking at night, or... though. Tea at night. Gotcha. Hiking or biking? Hiking for sure, all day long. Figured so. And here's the number one question that divides people: Apple or Android? Apple for right now. I'm on. Uh, I'm on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I just went all the way out. I actually jumped from Android to iPhone, and I was like, you know what? If iPhone is this good, and I just get the biggest, baddest, best machine that they have to offer, then I'm going to get the best user experience. And I have to say that I really enjoy it. It's very streamlined. It's very easy to understand and navigate. So I'm very happy with that. Black beans or refried beans? Black beans, dude. I got like 15 cans of those things right now. That was a question. You're telling me what you and Hannah like to eat. So okay, okay. <laughs> All right, morning person or night owl? Night owl for now. Uh, when I was working at Honda, I had to wake up at like 4:30 a.m. Uh, but after quarantine and not really having to uh, stock up all my stores like normal, I've, one o'clock has been bedtime here lately. And there's my boy Brent right there representing the Apple guys. Yeah, man. There's all kinds of good comments here. Bearded Dragon. Yes, sir. Camo Getting Camo. the Pro Max this week. Very nice. Andrew, I'm a Samsung. Hey, my brother's got a Samsung, Joey, and, and that, that's no joke either. I wouldn't say it's a bad phone. I'm, I'm just speaking on what I'm using here. I still like it, Joey. You're still a good guy. And then there's Mrs. Bluegrass. I'm trying to get her to switch over. She just won't do it. I think what started all of this was my wife's wedding photography business kind of took off uh, last year. So toward the end of last year, um, around October, after our last wedding of the year, I bought her the 27-inch iMac with like the 5K resolution. I was like, I want you to have the most awesome, crystal clear, big, visible screen for you to edit all your photos on. And we kind of got used to that for three or four months. And then, yeah, the, the rest is history. When they came out with the phone, I was like, let's just do it. Let's do it. So uh, it's funny here because I'm looking at the comments and Mrs. Bluegrass comment and my kids are also in here. We created them some YouTube accounts because they like to. So we all watch, you know, Dan C stream together and they like to comment sometimes. But um, so they're all my house is so divided. We're all Apple and they're all commenting that Apple, Apple. And then my wife, she's kind of by herself but that's okay she's pretty so i forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so uh yeah Apple. good stuff good stuff so uh all right favorite song my favorite song oh man um you put me on the spot there mm -hmm. um that's that's the point of this i'm trying to think it is well with my soul Nice. Just narrow it right down to that one. Very cool. Uh, favorite food? Uh, tacos or burritos or any form of the Mexican vegetarian variety. Perfect. And today is Tuesday. Yes, it is. Taco Tuesday. I suggested tacos. My wife changed it. So uh, we have been vegetarian now, actually, since October of last year. It was pretty crazy switch, but... I don't know, man. People say, oh, I could never do it. And I was one of those guys like, I don't know if I could do it, do without eating meat. And uh, so we're actually considered lacto ovo vegetarians. So we still eat eggs and dairy. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. actually been great. So I'm enjoying it. All right. Favorite movie. Favorite movie. It's been a long time since I've seen a movie, man. Yeah, we were talking <laughs> about this earlier. Another yeah. weird thing. Uh, another weird thing about me. I haven't had a television uh, since probably I was about 19 years old. So it's been about 10 years. Um, let's just say Shawshank Redemption. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mine too. I just, yeah, why not? Somebody said back here we could be brothers. I'm starting to believe that. 
Hey, we are brothers, man. In one, <laughs> in one sense of the word, we're brothers. Absolutely. I'm a okay. brother with everybody with a beard. That's a man that understands the struggles of daily life. You're my brother. Absolutely. If you could travel back in time, what period would you go to? Um, I don't know, probably like between the 50s and 60s, maybe. Um, there was a lot of interesting stuff going on in the world at that time. A lot of changes going on. And, uh, I heard a lot of, I've heard a lot of really good, like classic radio talk, uh, from that age and a lot of like old ministry, uh, stuff from that, that era. And it's just really, a, it was an awesome time. So, yeah. Yeah. Same here. And one more question. So this one's putting you on the spot, but I've heard you talk about this before. So fill in the blank. Hannah is the most incredible superhero of a woman that exists on planet earth. She literally is the total opposite of everything that I am. <laughs> it, it's like, I explain it like this, man. I'm the guy that's in the bottom of the steamboat throwing coals into the engine. Cause I'm just, you know, I'm, I've got so much energy and she is steering the ship of this business, making it a success. All the back end work for everything we're doing is all her. Um, having a home that looks, you know, it, you, you don't understand anybody with oh, a yeah. wife, you get it, you get it. If oh, it's yeah. clean, it's in order. You know, if you have a wife that does that, thank God for it. <laughs> she's laughing at you. <laughs> hey, hey, she could laugh at all she wants, but she's the type of person that has stuff like this created so I could send it out in all of my orders. This little graphic design, um, just all the little touches that Weatherbeard has and just in general, our life, man. I want to go back here and grab a question real quick. So, um, sure. So this is a, a buddy of mine also. Um, what can a patchy beard guy do to fill it out? So honestly, Mark, give it time. Drink plenty of water, um, beard products, keep it clean, keep it um, hydrated and give it time. So I want to grab this question because I actually have, I've got a patchy beard um, and time, honestly, this quarantine time has really showed me that I can grow it out. So I have a patch right over here. And if I turn the right way, you can see it. Um, it's really thin here at the bottom. So, um, but time is filling that in. So I'm actually yeah. letting mine grow out. I've had the, uh, the shorter beard here probably for the last year or two. I just found a length that I felt worked. Uh, but after getting back into the online community and seeing all these guys, they're like, come on, man, if your wife will let you do it, grow it out. So, I'm going to grow it out uh, probably all the way through like fall to Christmas this year. I'm just going to let it go for the next five, six months and keep it shaped. Yeah. I saw that picture you shared the other day on your Instagram that uh, Hannah had on her phone. You had a pretty, pretty nice beard. I had it going on in the there, beginning, man. man. I had grown that beard for like six months. So, and it's good now, but that picture was awesome. Sure. Sure. All right. Which by the way, are you ready? No, I said, are you ready? Here we go. All, All right. Back. So you know what that means. Another giveaway. All right. So, Corey, what are we giving away this time? We're going to do the same thing as last time, man. Uh, any two products of your choice. Uh, if you win, just go to our website, check out anything that you want to pick the scent, pick the product, message me on Instagram and we will hook you guys up. So. All right, here we go. So guys, it's going to be another random number. Um, again, winner here will uh, contact Corey on Instagram and we'll get it going. So this time, guys, I need a number. Random number, 10 through 30. 10 through 30. 10 to 30, guys. And then we wait. Got the number. <laughs> and then we play the waiting game with the laggy stream here. Yeah, I hope it's not. Is it laggy? Well, it's just for us, like, catching up on what's probably oh, yeah, already yeah. being typed, yeah. especially from my phone, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, let's see. StreamYard is. All right, we got a winner. Let me make sure that there was nobody before. And no. All right. So here's the number, guys. Thank you guys so much. 
for getting in on this, guys. Tiki, our buddy Tiki. Oh, Tiki. Taking the win. He actually just won a virtual beard competition online and should be getting my products in the mail today if he didn't already. So nice. very exciting. And he's got a birthday coming up. Uh, his wife told me June 1st, I believe. So awesome. it should be there by your birthday. You get double up, man. Double up. Well, congrats, Tiki. Great very stuff. Very cool. Very cool, man. Tiki, you know how to get a hold of Corey already. You know him very well. So Awesome. And uh, guys, don't forget also that if you don't hit these giveaways, that's okay. Uh, let me throw this back up at the bottom here. Yeah, we got a coupon code for you guys. BG25 will get you 25% off your order from tonight all the way through this Sunday at midnight. So feel free to check that out. Yeah, and just to be clear, this is not an affiliate. This is not... Um, I get nothing for this. He chose BG 25 just for the stream, but this is simply just a discount for you guys. Um, yep. nothing coming my way here. That's totally fine. I want you guys to, to try these products. Um, this is my favorite beer company. You guys know if you've seen some of my videos, um, I truly mean that these are, these are great. So I'm trying them out. That code gives me nothing, but gives you 25% off. So go check it out. Yep. I'm not paying this guy anything. He's just a friend. No, absolutely. <laughs> So free that labor, means, free right? labor. So oh, that being said, great. I have some stuff to unpack Absol here. Absolutely, Tristan, you're welcome for the discount code. Hopefully, somebody somebody will take advantage of it. Uh, that's been a huge, huge thing. You guys, like literally, when this uh, quarantine hit, I have four legs of my business, and that is, yeah, it's good from now all the way through Sunday night at midnight. So as long as you get it in before midnight Sunday. The code is good. Um, but yeah, typically my business relies on barbershops, gift shops, craft shows, and online sales. And when the quarantine hit, I lost barbershops, gift shops, and uh, craft shows. So I was literally down to online sales. And that is when I realized there's a big community, man. And you guys are very tight knit, very supportive. And it was awesome. Um, I would say that we almost had as good of a month in april as we do around like november christmas time it was amazing the amount of orders and of course i was passing a discount on so i really appreciate that guys uh you know, and joey says the cologne i, I want i want you to get into these products man i'm excited i think in, i think in hindsight i should have opened this earlier because opening plastic next to this microphone is probably pretty loud <laughs> that's a, hey man uh i think bearded beta got one of my products and when he did an unboxing because i had it wrapped up in bubble wrap and taped like really good he's like man this could like survive the usps man like a bomb could go off and this stuff's gonna be safe he's got it wrapped in so much bubble wrap but I just don't like taking chances. You know, I, I want my products to be safe. So I appreciate it. Corey, I don't, can you see the comments if you can? Uh, yeah, I can take some of these comments while you are opening them up. So um, dollar. So how far down do you guys shave your beard off your bald head to keep it a beard and not a goatee? I honestly, I don't know. As far as how far do you guys shave your beard off your bald head to keep it a beard? So mine is natural. So I have pretty much a natural line where um, I just trim it right here. It's pretty natural. Um, I can tell the difference in hair and what where the beard starts. So that's just kind of where I go. Yeah. Yep. Just lots of practice, man. I've been trimming my beard since day one. I've actually never had a barber do it for me. Um, so Bearded Dragon says he's going to place an order. Thank you. I know Don Moulter, he dropped an order the other night. Uh, Joey says the solid cologne is nice. And of course, Tiki says, click, click. If you guys haven't got these yet, it's like an adult fidget clicker that smells incredible. <laughs> Which uh, Ken got that one right there, the Solstice. This is our number one seller, uh, but he got that in his special package here I sent him. So I'm excited to see what he's thinking. So Josh McLean says, going to get the Lion's Night Out. Lion's Night Out is a great scent. Uh, it is a like a light aquatic fresh cologne scent so very cool um all right that's good stuff so what remind me because i don't wear a lot of colognes if you guys saw my recent review i i don't wear colognes a lot but this scent is what again that is actually a polo red uh replication so okay. 
as you guys know, polos run typically anywhere between sixty to ninety dollars a bottle. Uh, so it's it's like the name brand fragrances, and um, we didn't want to take any chances with these. You know, if we're gonna say it's a cologne, we want it to smell like what men typically relate a cologne to. Um, so that is actually our best-selling scent, and it is composed of notes of redwood, grapefruit, and saffron. Uh, so we described it as kind of a bold and spicy scent. It's a warm scent, a little bit fruity, a little bit spicy, a little bit woody. So it's very well-rounded. And Joey says, explain to everyone how to apply a solid cologne. So this is super easy. You literally just open the can up. It's got a slide top here. And all you do is, in a circular motion with your finger, get a little bit of a melted wax there. You're going to dab it back behind your pulse points right back behind the ear and you can also just for extra measure if you're one of the guys that like to talk with your hands right across the wrists and i talk with my hands a lot so when i'm at craft shows and i'm explaining stuff i'm just throwing fragrance at people and it's kind of a sales tactic but i do talk with my hands a lot that's actually yeah. how i have my barbers sell my solid cologne i'm like hey you know when you're clipping hair just rub a little bit of my solid cologne on your fingertips you use right. that blow dryer and you blow it across their face. They're like, oh, and it did wonders. So awesome stuff. So um, so Don says, can't wait for the matching oil wash cologne. Is that something that's in the plants? Uh, yes. As far as colognes go, we're going to keep our cologne lines completely separate from our beard care line. But what we are going to do, we're going through a rebrand. So we're going to talk about that here in a little while. But we're going to make, because we've had such good response on our beard wash here, which, by the way, I can give you guys a little little view of the consistency of that. I don't know if you guys ever seen anything like that. It's like a lotion. Uh, when we first started making our wash, it was very thin. So we decided to start melting a portion of shea butter in here, blending it in. And whenever it gets back to room temperature, it turns to that nice thick uh like lotion type consistency so it doesn't run off your hand in the shower uh, so yep. this is a like a 50 50 blend but we are going to make this replicated in the beard care sense so all your smoked cherry wood sweet embers lion's night out leather and lumber will have a matching wash so you can have the whole experience all the way through if that's your jam so. yeah and your wash your wash is unique so you know your um your wash because it has cleaning agents in it you cannot call it a conditioner right True, is, but it's the closest thing to a conditioner to a co wash. That is one yours I can use personally. I don't, I don't know about everybody else, but me personally, I can use your wash and not have to use a conditioner after. I can throw it in kind of like a co wash. Um, Very good. And I don't know if that's the right thing to do because it has a cleaning agents in it, but it's super moisturizing. It's really, really close to a conditioner. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Whenever I changed my recipe, I think Dan was actually one of the first people to review my product, which if you guys haven't, you can go back to Dan C. Bearded's channel, check out his review that he did for us last year, but he gave us some real good thumbs up on our citrus and mint wash, which is actually sold out right now because it's good stuff, uh, but we're going to be making more of it probably tomorrow, and so we'll be restocking the website. Um but everybody asks uh, about the solid cologne. Um, I think Tiki said, could you explain it? So our solid colognes are about four times as concentrated uh, fragrance wise as any of our beard products. So it is very, very strong. Um, and because it's like you're literally just dabbing a touch of it on, like Don said, two swipes behind your neck, one swipe across the wrist and it lasts all day. Um, so that's the goal. This is specifically for scent. So that's what we did. We put a lot of fragrance in it. So... Yeah, and faithfully bearded does say we need oud. Um, I I, I want to be able to, <laughs> I want to be able to like reply to everybody here. Your washes are awesome. Alan says he's been a little bit leery about the solid cologne. I would say take the jump, use the twenty five percent off code. Yeah, you get one for fifteen bucks. It's gonna last you like half a year to a year, and you know you can spend that on a meal. So, and so yeah, as far as the solid colognes though, so the other one, this one I've already had. Um, this is the Ridgeland, which smells like Dracar Noir. Um, and it's great stuff. It smells exactly like it. <laughs> it it's amazing. And I, yeah, I put it on. It lasts several hours. It lasts me a long time. So That's the goal. I wanted it to last at least like four to eight hours. 
<clears throat> preferably closer to eight because that's the performance of like an alcohol based cologne. Right. So something and, similar for guys like, man, I use this works just as good, but it's like a tenth of the cost. <laughs> so, yeah. And Dan, I appreciate that. Trust me, brother. You've helped me a lot more than I've helped you, but I'm glad your shrub survived. Really am. Awesome. You should have oh. one called Blizzard. Oreo Blizzard with hot fudge. Yeah, I saw that. So, uh, Tyson, what would that smell like? What would what would Blizzard be? Oh, I see. I'm gonna, if I should get scent suggestions from anybody, it would be Tyson with his like epic wall of the the super sniffer. You know, we got Sam C, but I mean, he's been smelling a lot of beard oils, man. And I'm not surprised he chose a food. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I need some dessert to go with my Big Mac sweat. That's so awesome. So yeah. the oils, so the stuff that I opened here, so you sent me Rustic Retreat. Yes, sir. Which, that is uh, our top selling scent, which is just a sandalwood bourbon. Uh, it's a spicy, woody type of scent. You could almost do it as a, a light cologne. Um, and by design, uh, for anybody that has never tried our oils, our oils are uh, the most lightly scented product in our lineup, which I know a lot of people may be frustrated about that. Um, but we made it lightly scented for a purpose because it's a lightweight leave-in conditioner with a light scent. And then we have a medium consistency product, which is our whip, which has a little bit more fragrance by volume. So you're kind of upping the tier. You know, the more you're paying, the more you're getting. You know, you're going from an oil to an oil plus a butter to an oil mm -hmm. plus a butter plus a wax, and you're getting a little bit of extra fragrance with each step. So that's kind of how we modeled our product's uh, pricing model. So, right. I just had to throw that one up there. Yeah. So um, then I have Lion's Night Out, which I know is a cologne scent. Is there a specific, I haven't smelled it yet, but is there a specific cologne? That is actually cool water. I know a lot of companies are doing that. It's pretty easily accessible. A lot of companies do it, but the feel in beard, it's still a good, crisp, timeless, just classic scent. And it was actually a request of a group, which if you hold the bottle up there, um, it does say beard on underneath the lion it says beard that. yeah it says beard on it's kind of hard to see but right underneath there that's actually a facebook group there it goes. and the administrators uh of beard on had actually requested that i make a sporty aquatic cologne scent and put a lion with a top hat and a monocle and a bow tie like he's ready to go out on the town um and that's what i ended up doing so that was actually a collaboration scent right uh before I knew about all these other collaborations people do, there's some incredible collaborations in this community. So yeah, I think, I think yeah. we missed something on the time slot here. It's eight seventeen. We, uh, where are we at? No, we went, we went past that one already. Oh, okay. I was early on the jump. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Fo I'm following the script people. I'm trying to I keep my lines. I told you this script, this is my attempt at being professional. I don't, I'm not sure. I think <laughs> we're all script here, but that's okay. That's okay. We, uh, I know we, we have to end by, you know, I want to end by 845 because sure. John, the flying beardsman, is going live at nine. I don't want to step on that. So um, go check him out, we're good. guys. We're good Definitely on time. Yeah, make sure you check him out. So, um, yeah, um, Tevin, Lions Night Out smells great. That's the first time that I smelled it. And um, I will tell you, Mrs. Bluegrass loves cologne scents, so I wear cologne scents. Yeah, that's our only cologne-scented beard product because uh, we wanted to keep our cologne line separated for guys with or without beards. Um, we wanted to have something for both audiences. Can the cologne last during sweating? Good question. Uh, yes, it will still last on you. Actually, um, that's actually one of the really big benefits of this. Think of it like a wax warmer for your house. The more heat that you apply to it, the more fragrant it's going to be. So actually, if you wear this to the gym and you're working out, your body's going to produce, your blood's going to get pumping, and it's going to, you're going to smell great. Um, I don't know. It might, might be like a sweat with cologne. So, but it's good to dab on after the gym. Uh, definitely covers up a lot of that stench. So. I like that. I had to show that to Dan there. Sure. So, um, and Tevin, no, I don't have a script per se, but I did put questions together with kind of some timestamps just so we can, uh, I wanted to make sure that I was done before uh, the flying bears moment live. So, so yeah. And then I believe there's some other lives tonight impromptu is my life that's about right for tevin <laughs> yeah so for those of you that don't know uh, and you don't yet because i don't think i've said it but tevin will be with me next tuesday night so purposely bearded will be on next tuesday 7 30 
I'll be in the viewer's seat for that. I cannot wait. It's going to be cool too, guys, because I'm actually originally born and raised in Kentucky. And of course, Mr. Bluegrass with his Kentucky hat, he's repping Kentucky. Purposely bearded only lives like maybe half an hour away from where uh, my wife went to college. And I was actually born in that city. So we pass through there all the time to visit family. And I plan on meeting both of these guys this year. So yeah, I told that's going to be Tevin, cool. the only thing I required, Tevin, he has to keep his shirt on. If you saw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please, please. Think about the children. Oh, I like this one. So this is uh, leather and lumber. Or, I'm sorry, Amber Trail. Amber Trail I picked up. Amber Trail. Yeah, I was going to say, I did send you a leather and lumber. Yeah. Amber Trail is just a sandalwood amber scent. And uh, for any of you guys that have never tried amber, uh, it is a very warm, rich, uh, just kind of a complex. You would almost expect to smell this in like, like a head shop almost. Like if you were to walk into a hippie store, maybe some incense type stuff. It's really relaxing. Um, it's a good nighttime scent. Sandalwood is, uh, obviously it's got some calming properties, but the Amber, very warm, calming, sweet. It's, it's good, man. <laughs> amber gets around. I love Amber. <laughs> amber, man. All right. So Tevin's mom is making sure that we don't have his shirt off. So that's a good mama. She raised him right. Well, she tried. He broke the rules and uh, got he, a little slap on the wrist there. He's a great dude. All right. So now leather and lumber. Leather and Lumber is actually a personal favorite of mine. Now, oh, nice. I get right to the leather with my blend. Uh, I put it as the first word, leather and lumber. So that is definitely the top note that you're picking yeah, up is yeah. that leather scent. And it does have a base of pine and cedar wood. Um, so you can just imagine it's, it's almost like going into the lumber section of a Lowe's with like that, or like Menard, just that. I don't know. It's really clean, crisp scent, um, which I think Dan and Sam, when they reviewed that, they had said they picked up chlorine because he's a water polo coach. And I've had multiple people say chlorine. Uh, so I guess that's not. Yeah. Carlisle Beards. He loves it. He just ordered that from me. Uh, said it reminded him of his ruck days in the army. So that was pretty cool. Just putting on the rucksack, going for his runs. Um, but yeah. Who said that? Was that Carlisle? Yeah, Carlisle, man. Yeah, I'm going to have Carlisle in here one night too so we can talk about some old Army stories because I'm sure we could probably talk for a while. I come from an Army family. I didn't do any service myself, but uh, my dad and my mom actually had my brother while they were in the Army. And my mom is a sharpshooter uh, with a sniper rifle. I was, I was like, wow. that's that's just cool, man. That makes me feel a little bit more macho. Even though I was always been the skinny guy, but like, Hey, mess with me. My mom's a sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? She hit like 30 out of 31 targets in training. So pretty awesome. Yeah. So the army grew me up. I, I joined the army at 17 just to get out of my hometown and, uh, wow. uh great stuff. I loved it. Um, I met my wife in Germany. Um, we were both stationed there. She was an MP. Um, so great time. Unfortunately, when we met, which was back in 2004, I had to leave. Um, she stayed in Germany. Um, I had deployed, um, to Kosovo and then came back and had to PCS, went to Fort Bragg. Um, so we ended up um, getting back together um, 11 years later. So very nice good stuff. And yeah, very, very nice. Army was yeah. very good to me for many reasons. Germany, you learn some discipline, get to travel a little bit. That's yeah, awesome. It was great. That is awesome. Got to travel some places I didn't really want to go, but well, of course, for. yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, um, so the solid colognes, right? Until I met you, until I knew your company, I'd never heard of solid colognes. So how did, I don't remember if you said this today. I don't think you did, but how did you come up with that idea? Well, um, that actually was a similar uh, finding as whenever I came across beard oil uh, for the first time. My wife in 2017 was trying to be sneaky and find a gift for me for Christmas. And she knew I was all about the men's grooming, but of course she didn't want to get me something I already had. Um, so she looked up unique men's grooming gifts. Right. And on uh, Google, it popped up. I believe Beard Brand at the time actually was producing solid cologne. And uh, he had a little demo video with like wax, fragrance, carrier oils, and showed how to use it. And I was like, that is so cool. Um, so... 
she was looking to get it for me, but she wanted to get my opinion on it before she bought it. And right. so I'm like, I think it's cool, but I'm like, honey, we already make beard balm and we already have like access to tons of fragrances and we've got beeswax and good carrier oils. We had a jojoba, which I knew was really good for hypoallergenic people, um, like for their skin and stuff. So like, why don't we just make our own, like do some sample batches and add it to our products. If I can make it like, Hey, <laughs> like I can have it for myself and we can sell it. So that's kind of how that came up. Um, and also uh, Detroit grooming since Dan just dropped that in there, repping Detroit up there in Michigan. Um, I actually carry my products in a gift shop up in Toledo called handmade Toledo, which is Toledo, Ohio. Uh, that's about an hour and a half North. And that was the first time in a big gift shop that I was actually put on the same shelves as other beard companies. So I was kind of a little bit intimidated to get into that store. I'm like, Oh man, this Detroit grooming company looks sick. Like I'm smelling all their stuff and uncapping all their testers and like, look at this labeling, honey, this is amazing. And their branding and everything is on point. Um, and just from what I've seen from the community, the quality of their products, their customer service, just, people behind the business. It's really a solid thing that they're doing with like uh, cutting hair and, and just doing the whole grooming aspect. So Don actually discovered my stuff at handmade Toledo. There you go. Awesome. So definitely uh, that's how we came across the solid colognes though. And we did smell a lot of their stuff. So like, I think court town is a really cool smell from them. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of really good stuff. Yeah, I just got a notification here, so I'll just drop this for um, Carlisle Beards. I just see he just uh, released a new video, so you guys go check him out. He is a uh, newer – I mean, I'm still new, but he's a uh, more recent um, video creator here on YouTube, so it uh, looks like he just dropped a review. Go check him out, Carlisle Beards. For sure. Great guy. Yep, he's a good, good guy, man. Yeah, and he will be on with the Flying Beardsman tonight at 9 o'clock, so make sure you guys go check them out. Show them some love there. Another cool guy that actually told yeah. me at some point he wants to have me on his show. So, hey, maybe I'll just be like hopping shows. I'll be on your show. I'll go to his show. I'll try to be on Beard Times with Scott's show. <laughs> and Hannah's never going to see you. I'll be a household name. Well, she's right <laughs> on the other side of this wall. She's she's on the computer right now. That's like her zone, man. She's right. keeping things running for me. So, so um. So rebranding, I know you're going through a rebranding. You're changing some labels. You're doing some things. Um, you want to talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, so with the rebrand, with our, our brand, so just to kind of give you guys a little bit more of a backdrop, if you haven't caught already, ever since uh, the very beginning, which was November of 2015, um, we started growing store to store, store to store. And I was working a full-time job. So we grew our business literally 100% organic. Like I had Etsy, which was like, like a, maybe a sale or two a week. Um, but we were really like bootstrapped. Let's go to stores, physically get our products, meet people, wholesaling, consignment based sales. And we kept growing that way until we got to about, uh, we're actually up to like 30 stores at the moment. Nice. Uh, we, we carry products in Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, and Tennessee. And we were actually in Florida at one point. There was one shop that carried our products and that shop closed down. Uh, so they ended up getting just moving on with business. But during all this growth and all this time, we were just Weatherbeard Supply Co., men's grooming supplies. And so that's just what we did. But we didn't really have like a brand message. We did not have a niche uh, that we were targeting, you know. So like, for instance, Beard Octane. Of course, they're marketing towards people that like cars, you know, the octane. They got that yeah. whole feel. Um, and you got Detroit Grooming. They're like that classy, refined, you know, several companies going to that guy, like Mr. Pompadour, hitting that audience that likes that classy, nice feel. And I was kind of just an everyday, average Joe, you know, rustic looking beard oil with a beard on the front of it. You know, you get it. I make beard products. But I didn't really have a brand message like who was i trying to connect with um and one of my passions is actually hiking which i answered in the speed round earlier hiking versus biking i love hiking camping uh laying in a hammock man 
like this right here. That's like yeah. me hanging out in a tent in the mountains under the stars. That's my idea of a good time. Uh, so we are actually in the middle of a rebrand. Our new website is going to be focused more towards the outdoorsman. Uh, but just to give you guys kind of an example here of the differences. So this is the old logo and, and bottle here. And we are going to be going to a little bit lighter shade, which this is not final. My wife would kill me if I said this is final, so don't get any ideas. But this is just a general concept of the direction that we're going. Kind of more of a clean, refined, sleek look. Uh, also, rather than the icon being in the beard, we do have the icons on the side, which now we've got our own weather beard logo, which I'll have to show you guys some other time. You'll see it if you keep following me. I actually have a beard with all of the weather uh, elements in it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, awesome. it's just really cool for those that has seen it. And then also our products are going to have our website, which I know that's blurry, but this black strip here across the back, it'll say weather beard supply. For all those people picking stuff up in stores and they didn't know that they could continue to come back and get it online. Um, so just, and then also we're dropping the scent notes here, like leather, pine, cedar. We're going to have that on the front of our bottle. Um, so everybody that wants to know that scent profile, uh, cause it's kind of been masked in the name, you know, you could kind of figure leather and lumber, right. it's going to have a leather and a woodsy smell. Um, we try to tell our fragrance through the name. You know, like sweet embers is a tobacco vanilla. So you have like a sweet scent and a spicy note, like an ember, like a hot or like smoked cherry wood. So it's like a piped cherry tobacco. It's yeah. woodsy, smoky, cherry. So anyways, um, we are in the middle of a rebrand, building a new website, having a new look, uh, getting our website on all of our products, kind of consistent look across the brand. And so excited about that just an, yeah. another level of professionalism so yeah they look great <laughs> so yeah that's that's kind of the direction we're going and then also I, I would show you an example i have one but our beard wash is actually going to be the same color scheme as this so it'll be a light tan and it'll also have the black strip there with the scent it's all going to match it's going to be consistent across the board uh, the text, the all the fonts and everything are going to match. So it's going to be a good thing. I'm like, you know, everybody's upgrading right now. Everybody's rebranding. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. You know, we got quarantined. It's like, hey, maybe we should like Weatherbeard 2.0, you know, like let's start making some changes. And for those of you, I mean, I don't know that any of business owners out there that do this stuff, but going through an upgrade when you're already in 30 stores and you have literally hundreds and hundreds of products on the shelves of stores, it's kind of hard to navigate because I'm just getting my feet wet in the online community. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the rebrand and for everybody in the community that does know uh, for everybody here, when you see that new website launch with that new look and feel, I'm excited for people to get the old product in their hand to the new product, kind of like uh, yeah. live bearded. You know, everybody's like, this is the old jar. This is the new. Is it better? Is it great? Let's check it out. You know, so getting, the, love... getting the hand lettered cards here. I've been yeah. handwriting notes in every one. Uh, so some extra I love, touches. I love Dan's comment here because we were just talking about this today. Make moves or make excuses. Not those specific words, but we were talking about that idea of, improving your business by owning it and making changes, what you have to do. Yeah. It's, it's a lot on the back end. My wife, especially with the whole COVID thing going on and trying to get stickers, there are certain suppliers that are not, they'll supply you stickers, but they won't supply you labels or they won't supply you anything unless you're an essential business. And we're like, man, right now is the time that we're needing this. We're trying to get it all done by July because the current website platform we're hosting from, is actually going to expire and charge us for another year's worth of use uh, beginning in August. So we're just trying to work and it's like we're hitting all these roadblocks, but everybody in the community is so excited like, yeah, Weatherbeard 2.0 and we're back here trying to make corrections to our designs and get it finalized and find one supplier that can give us the top quality of everything we're looking for. Right. You know, because hey, you might get your bottles here from one company, but you might get the bottles here from another company. You might get labels from one and stickers from the other because you like the texture and feel. Right. And you just right now it's like you can't do that. You want to get it all at one spot. Quality may be compromised, and it's just the perfectionist in my wife that's like, ah, 
So. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of you guys talking about that, how you can't get, you know, you can't get the four ounce bottles, but you can find the eight ounce or you can't yep. find those. You can't find these bottles, whatever the droppers. So yeah, my supplier right now has zero four ounce bottles in any of their warehouse. They're completely sold out and they yeah. said they're not getting any until June. So, but yeah, so uh, I see I'm in the business of looking good. Never mind. The wife just kept it real with yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tevin's wife, keeping them honest. Uh, I looked good when when she married me, but things have changed, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, I really dig the cards. Thanks, Don and Dan. I'm going to make it or make it. These are my options. I like that. I like that. I'm kind of having a, a paradigm shift myself right now in my business. I think yeah. a lot of good things are coming to Weatherbeard, and I'm going to have to adapt, and I will. I will overcome any obstacle that comes my way. It's just a mindset yeah. change. It's going to be awesome, and I have a great community now to stand behind me. So, and you think, will. Had, we've had many conversations, man. You are on your way. I think you're going to be. I think we you'll be all right. One. I think we have one more. I think we have. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I said, are you ready? All right, so we have oh, one more giveaway yeah. here. One more giveaway. Corey, you're running this one. I'm going to do so, this uh, thing, man. I don't know about you guys, but when I hear that little blip right there, that was awesome, created by Mr. Ken at Bluegrass here. I get so pumped. Like, I want to win a giveaway. You know, I had a different <laughs> – I had that created with a different song, and I was so scared that YouTube was going to take it down because of copyright that I changed it. That The music in that is actually part of the music I use in my intro videos, which – You can tell, I, yeah. Uh, I just, so it's funny. I, when I started my channel, I just, I was trying to find some music um, that kind of matched my brand, Bluegrass Bearded. And I found this song. Um, it's kind of a, uh, a bluegrass trap, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, so that song, that music there is just part of that. And I got with the guy that made that music and got his permission. So you'll see my videos. I put that on my videos, but yeah, great music. I wish I could take credit for that. I just put it in a video. Very, very cool. I just love it. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, All right. So, uh, giveaways. So, Corey, you're running this one. We're going to do a giveaway, guys, but this time it's going to be a trivia question. Let's see if you guys have been. But if any of you guys have been paying attention, I've actually dropped this hint about three or four times throughout the chat to see who is going to be paying attention the most. All right. So my question is. For whoever gets this first, which Ken knows the answer, and he's going to be the one to pick the winner on his end, not my end, because I'm on a phone. I don't know if that changes anything. But the question is, all right, are you guys ready? And the person that wins this one, you get three products of your choice. All right? Three products of your choice. Any three you want, since this is the third giveaway. What year and month did Weatherbeard Supply Co. have its humble beginnings? What year and month did Weatherbeard Supply Co. have its humble beginnings? And we got the year. We need the month and the year. We need the month and the year, guys. Ah, I've got a winner on my end already. I don't know if you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing, but I'll, I'll let you make the call. But I've already seen the winner. Oh, I think I just saw it. Let me make sure there's nobody ahead of him. I think this is it. You got it. Beard Code All was right. the first on my end as well. Way to go. There you go, Devin. Way to go, Devin. Beard Code, another reviewer. So, uh, Devin, have you tried? Or I mean, you probably know his Devin. He has. He actually okay, cool. uh, he ordered a amber trail. He liked the sandalwood amber. He ordered the uh, oil and a whip. And he did a little unboxing on his Instagram, and I watched it, those first impressions. So I'm like, I'm like, what are you going to say about me, son? No, but uh, he's like, I like this, man. I'm digging that calm, relaxing scent, like a bedtime scent. And I think he's actually working on doing a, uh, a quick review for me sometime soon, just on the consistency of the oil and the butter. So I'm excited about that. That's awesome. I must have missed that one. I, and I usually see... Um... Oh, and uh, okay. So he is, has a review coming out on Thursday morning. So be sure to check Thursday that out. Thursday morning. Well, I'll be checking it out. You better believe that. I'm going to be hitting that thumbs up. I'm going to be smashing that thumbs up button. 
I'm going to be commenting, throwing a thumbs up on every comment that's on his channel. We're going to promote it. I'm going to get awesome. behind and, that. Uh, and Beer Code, guys, he's another uh, another product reviewer, another content creator here on YouTube. So go check him out also. He will actually be on the Beard Cave in two weeks. So two weeks from tonight, he will be here. I think that's right. Very cool, man. So for all you guys that haven't been paying attention to the scrolling screen and you just want to see like one of the gift cards or not a gift card, I'm sorry, business card here that you are going to get in your package. If you do place an order 25% off to our website, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook. We're a lot more active on Instagram as of late and we do not spam you with emails. We do not have any sort of a uh, crazy marketing program. Uh, literally if we're running a special code, we'll shoot you an email or, you know, if we're going to be somewhere uh, for a craft show, we might say, hey, we're coming to this city. If you're nearby, stop in and give us a, a wave. So we got Devin and Tevin. Devin is so much nicer than Tevin. <laughs> you can't get them mixed up, guys. These guys are like polar opposite on, on the uh, personality scale. Right. So, De <laughs> Devin and Tevin. Dude, I got it. You guys need to collaborate and come out with the Devin and Tevin show online how cool yeah, would that be yeah. devin and tevin talk show that'd be I awesome can, i can hear it now welcome to devin and tevin guys no nah, you guys can work on that though spur of the moment inspiration all right so there you go so devin uh, just if you uh you probably know already but just get in touch with Corey through instagram and he'll get you taken care of there absolutely for, uh, guys for everybody else don't forget there's that discount code bg25 25% off your order. 25. Corey, clarify that because I think you told me that's only for... Yes. Okay. So the only thing on the website that that will not apply to is our soaps. Uh, the soaps are six bucks. Uh, they do weigh a little bit more than our other products. They're bigger in the packaging. So it kind of like bumps our shipping cost up. So for those that do qualify for free shipping, our margins are basically nothing on that. Um, so yeah, for all of you guys uh, that want to pick up some oil, balm, butter, wash solid cologne it's all 25 percent off from now until sunday night uh we do free shipping over 30 dollars. i live right across the street from a post office so it will be processed same day or the following morning there's no delay in that i've got your products made up and ready they're going out the door um and then also if you place an order over 45 dollars uh, 40 I, my wife and i were having this conversation it's 40 dollars. she's the website person but uh, forty dollars, you will get a free bar of soap with your purchase. So again, guys, um, twenty five percent off all beard care and solid cologne. Free shipping over thirty. Free soap over forty, and you just specify the scent in the checkout. So just trying to get those out there and reviewed, get some thoughts on it. So yeah, well, Corey, I appreciate you uh, coming and being my first uh, participant here in the Beard Cave. So appreciate it. Um, and I uh, just want to show if I can get my finger right here. So this comment here, this is a friend of mine. This is Brent that you know. Um, so Brent, we're working out. He is um, a friend of mine here. He has a beard also. He is going to hopefully soon be um, co-hosting with me. So great guy there. Um, and Mr. BS, that is not BS, BS. His initials are literally BS. So <laughs> I was so confused. He sent me him this way and their last names are like the same thing. I was like, how do you do this? How do you say this? Are you guys related? Like, no, we're just friends. <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of funny, but we got that all worked out. And so, uh, yeah, he's, he's figured out a scent that he really likes on mine. Yeah. So, Hey, he already found a winner. All right, cool. Well, thanks again, everybody. Thank you all for joining in. Had a great time here. Um, thanks so Absolutely. much. Hope you guys go check out Weatherbeard if you have not already great stuff. Like I said, next week we'll be on with Tevin with Purposely Bearded, so check that out. And uh, Corey, any any last uh, thing you want to say? I just wanted to say thank you guys again so much, uh, especially to Ken, who has got my products, put out review videos, gave me a good positive feedback on the products. And it's just such an honor for me as one of the smaller guys in the community to be compared against some of these, these you know, big tycoons that I would consider them, you know, out there. They're just dominating the the, the whole like beard community and then people are like man this weather beard stuff is awesome it's like up in my top five and so very humbling i thank you guys for the support um if or literally if it was not without you guys my wife would have we my wife and i we would have really struggled uh through the month of april 
Uh, so literally you guys were the backbone of paying our bills. Let's put it. So now you can put a face to it. You've seen me, you got to know me, you know who you're supporting. Uh, hopefully you guys have found some value in this. So William Whitmore says, I guess I'm a little bit late. Yeah. Uh, Will, sorry you missed it, man, but I'm pretty sure he's going to post this uh, so that you can check it out later. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to leave this up on my channel so you guys can go back and, and watch. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys go check out uh, the Flying Beersman at 9 o'clock here on YouTube. And uh, other than that, you all have a great night. Thank you. Thanks, guys.